In this view do, I'm going to show you how to make a two-dimensional object in our three-dimensional world. Now, as we commonly think of our three dimensions, if you take any object, it's going to have width, height, and depth. The same thing happens with this piece of paper. We have a width, the height is very thin, the depth is very thin, but it's still there. Now, what we're going to do is a little trick. I'm taking a similar piece of paper, and on this piece of paper, I've drawn a red line up one side, a black line on the other side. And we're going to take this piece of paper, give it a half twist, and then create a loop so that the red line is touching the black line now. I'm going to tape this together, and then we're going to explore how many dimensions this piece, this object now has. So, connect this, and we've now got our loop with a half twist in it. This is called a Mobius strip. Um, now, let's explore the dimensions on this. We still have this very thin dimension, the thickness of the paper, we might say. We've got a width to this, but you'll notice that we can't go across the bottom edge like we used to. Well, you might say that would happen even without a half twist. Well, let's explore what happens. Back on the flat piece of paper, if I try to draw the line and continue it to the other side, I've got to go over the edge. That, hap that no longer happens here. The black line turns into the red line, keeps coming across, keeps coming across, red, 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 turns back into black. And that just keeps going forever. So there's really only one side measured on this thickness here to this piece of paper, or hence our two-dimensional object. Now, as a bonus, we also get a magic trick out of this. So if you take a pair of scissors and our Mobius strip, and we punch a hole through it right where the line is, and then cut along here, you as a master magician now would ask your audience, what do you expect to happen when I finish cutting along the line? Most people will intuitively think you're going to end up with two Mobius strips. Well, lo and behold, when you do this, no tricks. We've just got one strip and more loops than we had before. And now, if you go ahead and check the dimensions, if you were to trace and draw along one of these sides, you would find that you came back to where you started, and there would be a second side with nothing drawn on it. Hence, we're back to three dimensions. Have fun.